greater answerability to the general populace. That is the order of the day and in step with the times, the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment has joined the bandwagon of e-governance. The Ministry is entrusted with the welfare, social justice and empowerment of the disadvantaged and marginalized sections of the society. Their site socialjustice.nic.in is an attempt to inform the people about all their projects and schemes. We are all moving towards e-governance and gov government functioning and we want that information about the ministry should be available to the general public. What does this ministry do? How does it do it? And if people are to take advantage of the schemes of the ministry, how do they go about it? So the first objective is sharing information and the second is transparency. The bright and beautiful home page leads us to several sections. The first of them being scheduled caste welfare. After a short introduction about the intentions of the government, the page links us to schemes by the ministry, which the concerned people can access directly from the government and schemes for the NGOs by which the government can support NGOs working in the field. Similarly, you have links to social defense and welfare of backward classes and minorities. The best part is, under contact information in each page, you are given the exact contact person with his or her address, phone number and email so that you could get further information and assistance to go ahead with your plans. This of course is different from the list of important email addresses provided under Contact Us. If you go through the website, you'll see that there's a lot of information there about the release of grants to NGOs. This ministry has a budget of 181 crores this year, uh, money which is going to NGOs working in the field. The section Welfare of the Disabled begins with the Persons with Disabilities, Equal Opportunities, Protection of Rights and Full Participation Act 1995. The page leads us to links which provide us with further information on the provisions of the Act such as education and employment of the disabled and social security and grievance redressal for them. There are also further links to national institutions working for them and schemes for NGOs and of course contact information. There is a whole range of scholarship schemes for students of the entire disadvantaged section of the society who can access this site to find out more about these schemes. For the future plans, you know, we want to put in much more information that, uh, than we have already put in. Uh, for example, uh, some of, uh, we have several associated organizations with this ministry. Uh, some of them have websites, but others don't. We want everybody associated with the ministry uh, to have a website and establish a link between the ministry's website and their website so that people can get more information about the functioning of those organizations. The purpose of this site is to empower people with information. For information is power and it is only by withholding information that the middlemen in the government structure exploit the common man. This is a site that should be accessed by all concerned people, whether they be students or NGOs, for they could gather valuable information on how to access the grants that could support their projects. So log on to socialjustice.nic.in and find out more.